Hello and welcome to the first uh, PHP tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be discussing um, uh, using the basics of variables and open and closing um, the PHP tags and a little brief dis um, description about what PHP is but not too much. Um, okay so what do we need to come to first of all is um, PSPAD. Uh, I'm sure you've already seen if you've looked at my HTML tutorials uh, it's just like using uh, any other text editor. Um, okay, so what do we do? Well, to open and close um, PHP, just as we open and close HTML, just like this, and these are open and closing tags of HTML. So any text written inside here now is going to be interpreted as HTML. Okay, well, with PHP, we can basically uh, open and close it with the opening tag, which is less than question mark and PHP, and we close it by question mark and the greater than sign less than sign p, uh, question mark PHP close it with question mark and the greater than sign okay so now any information that's um, with inside these two tags is now classed as the PHP server-side language so it needs to stick to uh, the rules that are within side PHP and now there are many many rules and I don't have enough time to discuss them all but I'm going to try to over all of these PHP tutorials. So the first thing that we're going to show you is how to echo out some information. Echo, what does that mean? That means send um, information from the server to the clients, the client being the browser, uh, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox and so on. The screen that you're actually looking at, uh, it will send information to the screen. And what do we use? We use echo. Echo is basically a reserved word. It's a, a function as well. So it's basically, you can't use this word um, later. Let's not get too far into this. Echo means send information to the to the clients to display as text. Okay, so or display as HTML. Now, so inside this to display um, strings or integers, strings basically mean um, a length of information that holds characters. Characters can be um, from A to Z, can be question marks, can be anything you want basically with inside a string uh, as long as it's within double quotes. So we can just say uh, this is a string. Okay. Now, we've got this in between um, double quotes at the moment. We can use single quotes. I'm going to leave that for now and discuss this later. Now, with inside these double quotes, you can see that it all goes green. Okay, It all depends on what um, colouring you've got on it, on your um, PS pad. And I'm closing it with a semicolon. This semicolon means that this command here is now finished and it can move on to the next command. Well, at the moment, there are no other commands to do. But if we, was, if we leave this semicolon off, it will continue on and it will cause an error. Errors we will talk about later. But for the time being, I just want you to know that if you open something and you want to do it, then you have to close it with a semicolon. Okay, so at the moment, this is a string. So we control this to save. Come over to the local host, which I've got open already, um, which we obviously need a server to run it on. And I've got intro.php. We we'll refresh this and it sends to the browser, this is a string. Okay, nice and simple. It hasn't sent any HTML or anything like that um, at the moment. Now, with inside this string what the, that we're sending, we can send HTML as well to it. That's no problem. So if we put um, a bold tag in here and we control this to save, this is going to get translated into HTML and it's going to send this exact code to the, to the browser, to the client. Okay, so it's already saved. Let's come here refresh and now it puts it bold so let's have a look at the, the source code and you see B this is a string and the close of the bold tag right that didn't uh, that was the browser was reading the HTML and saying well yet yeah, the, the the B tag is a bold tag and then there's text in here and then there's a close and a bold tag so I know that what to do with it the, the Mo Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer they translate the HTML code PHP just sends the code to the browser for the browser to interpret it into HTML. Okay, so what else? Let's get rid of this for now. What else can we do um, with echoing? Well, we can echo out integers as well. Now, integers basically are 
numbers. Okay, this is a whole number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 100, 150, 200, 1000, so on is a whole number. It doesn't have any decimals in it. So, for the time being, let's just remember integer is a whole number. Okay, so if we control this to say this, echo 1, and we refresh this, and as you can see, it echoes 1 here. If you can't see it, it's there. Okay, this knows, right, what data type is this? Is this a string or is it an integer? There are other data types, but let's just remember integer or string for now on. There's no semicolons or uh, no quotation marks, double or single, so this must be an integer. So, what about if we put um, double quotation marks here now and basically put one? Well, this is going to read, okay, quotation marks are here and inside it is a number. Now, the PHP is going to try and work out, is this a string or an integer? Well, it's just got a number in it. So what does PHP do to this? It looks for any other characters. Does it have A, B, C or anything to from A to Z or question marks or anything like that in it? And if it's, a no, if it's no and it only has numbers, then it will basically use it as an integer. Okay? Or it will display it as a string. It actually doesn't matter. But you need to decide, is this an integer or a string? Am I going to be plusing or minusing or times an in information with this value? And if it's a no, then it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's control this to save just to show you this, that it will still echo out the same information and one. There it is. Okay, now what can we do with this? We can put one plus one in here. Okay, and we'll see what this does. Okay, let's refresh and it displays one plus one. That's simply because it's reading this as a string. Okay, it's got a um, it's using arithmetic in here as well to plus one and one, but it's reading these spaces as well. Okay, it's thinking right. Well, this isn't this. I don't know whether this is an integer or a string. There's arithmetic in there, but does the you know does the person who coded it want it to be a string? So by default, it will send it as a string. Okay, now if we was to get rid of these quotation marks and send this for well, 1 plus 1, this is an arith arithmetic operator here, plus, times, minus, um, and divide sign. Okay, which we've got plus, minus, divide, so you see that, we've got divide, times, which is the star, plus, and minus. Nice and simple. So let's just plus this. So echo 1 plus 1. Now, what does the browser get now? Can you um, 1 plus 1? Well, of course you can, because it reads this, it, it look, finds no quotation marks, and it says, right, well, this must be a string, or it must be a, a command of some sort. It sees the arithmetic operator, and it sees the other integer, and it thinks, right, well, let's plus, them to, let's plus the two things together. So that's basically how PHP works. If there are um, quotation marks, it will read it as a string, and it will read it will look for characters. If it doesn't find any characters, that, and it, but it finds a number, then it will class it as a number. If there's any other spaces or anything like that inside, then it will class it as something else. Um, this is kind of getting a little bit too in depth to it because really you would never do this. Um, I'm just trying to show some of the rules. There's a very easy way of using PHP, and if you stick to the rules, then um, you can do lots and lots of things with it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it um, here for now, and I hope that you've learned something from it. Um, we've learned uh, echo, uh, open and closing the PHP tags, I should say first, then we learned echo, then we learned about strings, then we learned about integers, and the arithmetic, uh, arithmetic operator. Um, so that's it for now. Um, my name is David Thorne. You can contact me at www.thornewebdesign.de. You can subscribe to me on my website and uh, basically you can leave comments on my videos on my website or you can subscribe to me at YouTube. I'd like you to, to, do, to do both really. Um, I'm going to have a lot, lot more tutorials coming very, very swiftly. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.